I've owned this Palm Springs Mini for at least two years, so today I wanted to go through an in-depth review of this bag to help you decide on whether it's the right investment for you. I'll also be going over the wear and tear of this bag, what fits inside, and also comparison to the other Palm Springs Mini backpacks to see what fits your style the best. I know it's very difficult to get your hands on this bag, so towards the end of the video, I'm going to be sharing with you four different tips on how you can get your hands on it. Let's get into it. The Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini in this monogram print has a canvas exterior which makes it really easy to clean. I've even worn this out in the rain and then when I come back I just wiped it really quickly. There's also some soft leather trimming detail all throughout the bag and on the straps and then you'll also see some beautiful shiny gold hardware in the zippers as well as the clasps in the back which also have the LV logo on each of these areas. There are two key compartments. One is the main compartment that you can access through the zipper. And inside it's lined with a black cotton material, which is quite soft, with a leather label on the back that says Louis Vuitton Paris, and a flat pocket where you can put your credit cards, your cash, also to protect your valuables, just in case anyone's able to access that main area, you can keep your valuables in the back. If you flip out the flat pocket, there'll be a leather piece that actually has gold lettering, that'll be your date code, that shows the authenticity of your Louis Vuitton bag. Then you have a smaller compartment down here which you can access through this zipper. You'll find that it's quite tight, so you can only fit some small things in here. Um, so I put my hair elastics, my lip gloss, and lip balms. On the back, you'll see it's actually the canvas print, and on the front is the, the cotton black. Both of these zipper areas are protected by a canvas flap that you'll see that goes on top of it. The back is quilted and padded, which makes it very comfortable to wear. The Louis Vuitton Palm Springs backpack comes with four different straps, two long and two short, and you can use this in any number of configurations to get the look that you want. I've come up with 10 different ways to wear this backpack in ways you might not have thought of before. So take a look at that video that'll be linked towards the end, as well as in the link to the description below. One very important thing for you to know, if you purchase the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini completely new, you'll find that all the pieces are quite stiff. So what I mean by that is that the zippers are gonna be really difficult to move. It's gonna be very difficult to even fit anything within this secondary pocket. I remember I couldn't pull this part away from the back. So I wouldn't even use the front pocket for the first year or so until the canvas and the zippers have softened up. This part was very difficult to pull away from this gold knob to adjust the straps. So for the first year, I honestly didn't adjust the straps at all because I was afraid of damaging this. I wasn't sure if I had a defective one. So I'm just here to let you know you don't have a defective one. You do have to be a little bit aggressive to pull it out of the leather strap. And the fact that it's stiff is pretty normal. So I mentioned that I own this bag since 2019. So I want to show you what two years of wear looks like on this bag. I've used it regularly, twice a week to do errands. One part that I noticed has come loose a little bit was right here. You see how the fabric has come away from the stitching? That's the only part on the inside of the bag that has had any change. Everything else is perfectly fine. I haven't spilt anything in here yet. Notice that over time you'll develop some wrinkles in the leather, which is perfectly normal. Actually don't have any scratching on the hardware or the zippers quite yet. There's definitely a little bit of the leather that's peeled away where it has had contact and the friction between the metal and the leather will cause that to happen. So I'm not surprised about that at all. And you'll notice this in a lot of the Louis Vuitton bags is that you'll start seeing a bit of wear where this constantly rubs against this loop. Otherwise, after two years of heavy use, this bag has really stood its own, very durable, and it looks to the naked eye quite brand new. And my philosophy around wearing these luxury bags is that I want to get the most out of them. So they need to be durable and easy to use. Overall, my impression from a durability perspective is it's an excellent bag to have and use on an everyday basis without it looking worn after even just two years of use three things. I use it for grocery shopping or errands. I'll also use it when I travel to the airport to put some passports and documents in here. And then I'll also use it for vacation. So just recently I was actually at Disney and I used this bag there and I'll show you kind of what I was able to fit in there.
enjoyed this video so far, if you've gotten value out of this video, please let me know by clicking the like button down below so I know to make future review videos like this one. So now I want to talk about the alternative. There is the reverse monogram, which is reversing the colors in the LV pattern to the outside so it's a much lighter bag and then the darker brown will go in in the logo. So I've tried that out actually when I was in store. It doesn't work with the majority of my wardrobe. I find that this classic print with the gold hardware really sets off with my neutral tones. The reverse monogram is a bit more expensive, I believe. This one is priced at $19.90, but then the reverse monogram right now is priced at $21.40. So you have to consider that as well. Is the price difference worth the uniqueness of the bag that you're looking for? Lighter bags actually show a bit more wear than the darker ones. So I wanted mine to look as nice as possible for as long as possible, considering how much I used it. So what I've heard is that the reverse is actually harder to get your hands on than this one, which is already really hard to get your hands on the monogram. Palm Springs Mini. Next is the size comparison. This is the Palm Springs Mini, but it also comes in two larger sizes. One is the PM, um, which is slightly bigger, and then the MM. So the reason why I decided to go with the smallest one is because I like to go with bags that just about fit everything I need. I don't like carrying a large bag that fits like absolutely everything in the world. And you end up getting really tired carrying this heavy bag around when you don't actually need everything in it. I also prefer this backpack over the larger two sizes because the look of this one is very unique with the thin straps. The other two sizes have thick padded straps like this. In my opinion, it doesn't look as refined as this backpack and nor do I think it's as versatile because the straps don't come off of the big backpacks. They just stay like regular backpack straps, kind of like this. So the mini backpack for me won in terms of versatility and also it fits exactly what I want it to fit. Now, if you have children or if let's say you do want to carry more, maybe you're a blogger and you want to bring your camera and other types of things, this may not make the most sense for you. You might want to upgrade to a bigger bag. Price comparison on the different size of the bag. This was 1990. The next size up is 2210. The biggest one is about 2400. So you have to consider is the price worth it for you to get that extra space? Do you need that extra space? So I decided to save money on mine as well because I know I can fit everything in here. So the final alternative to this bag is the My LV World Tour Palm Springs Mini, which is essentially a customizable version of this where you can add stickers to different areas, some on the front, some on the side as well. The reason why I didn't purchase that were two things. One is the price difference. This is $19.90 when I purchased it, it was $19.40. But then compare it to the My LV World Tour is about $2,500. To me, it wasn't worth customizing it myself. And then also I don't like having stickers on my backpack. I have a pretty clean classic aesthetic, maybe with a twist, but I don't like the twist to be on my backpack. I want to be able to customize that with my clothing. However, if you're looking for a very unique version of the Palm Springs Mini, that might be the one for you. If you ever plan on reselling this backpack and you customize it to yourself, it may be a bit more difficult to sell it. Another reason why you might want to buy the LV World Tour is you're kind of tired of hunting down this bag. The LV World Tour is available to customize online right now. Finally, there is one subtle difference that I noticed between this bag and the LV World Tour is that the inside, it's not black, it's actually a really beautiful classic red that they put sometimes on the inside of their bag. So some of you might be wondering, now Jess, I love this bag, but I can't get it. Where am I gonna be able to get it? So let me tell you first the story of how I got my bag. I had gone into LV stores looking for it, but it was always never in stock. They'd refer you to a representative to see if you can put your name on the wait list, put your credit card down. So when I travel, I would often go into an LV store just to ask, hey, do you have this in stock? And that's exactly how I got mine. I was actually in LA for the first time and I was just walking along Rodeo Drive and I saw the Louis Vuitton, I'm like, out of all places, I don't expect them to have Palm Springs mini backpack. When I went in and I asked, she looked around and she actually found not only this, but the reverse mini as well. So I was really excited because I couldn't decide between the two. I've never seen the two. Another way a salesperson recommended me is to call the LV customer service because they can locate an LV Palm Springs mini at a particular store and then get that shipped to you. The most tiring way for you to do this is to constantly check the online store to see if it's coming back in stock. And the best chance of you getting it would be in the middle of the night. So if you're ever up in the middle of the night and you can't sleep, you're hungry, you wanna do something, just have it bookmarked on your phone, take a quick look, it might be in stock and you just snap it up like that and hopefully you can get one.
Another way that you can get the Palm Springs Mini is through resale and buying through third-party websites. They can be quite expensive because it is out of stock all the time, so they will likely mark up the price. I've seen it range between $1,500 to $2,500. I strongly encourage you to search YouTube for how to look for fakes versus real, how to shop on these resale websites. I personally have not done so yet, so that's why I don't want to advise you on something I've never done before. Because I am incredibly selective with the bags that I do buy, I don't have a huge wardrobe of different types of designer bags. I have ones that I will use all the time. I would rather get 100% assurance on the authenticity of the bag that I bought by purchasing directly from the retailer. I think it would be very helpful to everyone watching this video to add in the comment section down below what ways they've tried to get this bag and whether they've been successful or not. Is the Louis Vuitton Mini worth it? And is it worth it for you? What would I recommend? So for me, it was absolutely worth it. Why? Because I've gotten quite a low cost per wear out of this, meaning cost of this bag, which is 1940, divided by the number of times that I've worn it, which is one to two times a week. It's more than worth it when I compare it to some of the other items that I have in my closet. And that is because I have multiple ways that I can wear it with the different straps as well as different occasions that I can wear it to. Now I have a completely separate video on how to style this bag, how to do the different strap configurations, as well as different outfits and occasions I wear it to. So please take a look at that before you make your investment decision. And that video is right here. If you want to know more about how I make my fashion investments, subscribe and turn on your alerts for my future videos. Thank you so much for joining me. Mwah! Good luck in making your decision. I hope to see you again.